Twin Cedars Riley Duncan takes home 10th Class 1A state meet, gets on the medal stand. Uh, Riley, what does it mean to take home some hardware from Ford Dodge? It feels good. Talk about your race. So what do you feel like you did really well throughout the day? Um, I definitely used the hills to my advantage, and that's where I kind of uh, closed the gaps on those people that were ahead of me. Yeah, what were some of the challenges maybe today? Uh, kind of a weird day weather-wise, uh, tough course as well. Uh, just talk about that. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the wind definitely wasn't in our favor, so you kind of had to find someone and you know stare right behind them, and that kind of helped. But you know, the wind didn't help anything. <laughs> At the start of the year, was this something you thought was a possibility to crack the medal stand? Yeah, this is definitely one of my goals for the year. What's the feeling is you're coming down the stretch knowing that you're probably sitting in a, a pretty good position to get on the podium. It's got to be a pretty pretty amazing feeling. You know, yeah, that feels really good. Sophomore year, got two more in you. How do you try to build off of this year and maybe uh, even do better next year? You know, definitely keep running and, you know, don't stop and just run during cross-country season, but run all year round and, you know, just build up my endurance and try to improve my time. Welcome Magnolia's Courtney Spore takes home six at the 1A meet here today. Courtney, uh, another medal for you, second time in three years. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it really means just so much to me. Last year I had some trouble at state just with nerves and everything, but this year I just tried to stay calm and focused, and that's what I did. Yeah, how motivating was that for you? I know last year you probably agree it didn't go the way you would have liked for it to have gone, but to, to put together another good showing here for Dodge. Yeah, um, it really motivated me a lot, you know, just to work really on the off season too. And just this year at every meet, I just really focused on my nerves and just different ways to like calm them down and stuff. Talk about this race. Uh, watching a lot of people come across the line, it looked like this course really took a toll on them. Uh, what were some of the challenges today? Um, some of the challenges, there was a couple girls I went back and forth with, and I just really focused on them because that was just kind of my goal, just to try to beat the people ahead of me. And uh, I beat one of them, the other one got me. What do you feel was the, the reason you were able to finish as high as you did today? Um, definitely calming my nerves. Like I said, this whole season, just my coach, Kelly, has just been really like helping me come up with like different ways to help calm them and stuff because nerves was like a big thing last year with me and just messed me up and stuff. How do you sum up this season? Uh, really strong showings throughout the year. Uh, overall, this season just went so good and I was really happy with how it went, um, individually and team-wise. I was just happy. Tri-Center's Peyton Pogge takes home fifth in Class 1A. Uh, Peyton, uh, a grueling race. Maybe not the results you, you, you would have liked, but four top fives and four state meets. What does that mean? Well, it means a lot. Like it's, It hasn't been the season, but getting top five, it's been pretty good. It was pretty much a four or five horse race throughout. Uh, you and Billy Wagner, as well as the eventual champion as well from Key, were all up there. What was that like kind of running in a pack? Uh, they're very strong runners, so sticking with them was pretty tough. And in the end, I just don't think I could have done it. What do you feel like you did really well today? Uh, staying with the top pack was pretty like my successful. I know it's been a tough year for you, battled through some things. Uh, towards the end of the race, how were you feeling? Towards the end, I was just like, I don't even think I could finish. It just like all hit me. Is this something that, you know, maybe now it's still fresh, but looking back on, you'll think, man, if, you know, if I'd have been healthier, if I, if I wouldn't have had the, the month that I was sidelined, that maybe it would have been a different result? Definitely. Mono has definitely like hit me, but I think this track season, I'll be able to rest and recover. What have you learned, though, during this season? Obviously, you've had a lot of adversity. Definitely like setback spring opportunities. Time at Tri Center comes to a close. Uh, obviously, very accomplished. How do you sum it up? Uh, it's been great four years. And time to take on the next chapter. Tri Center's Brett McGee cracks the medal stand in Class 1A. Brett, uh, you've had some good runs throughout your career. You get to finish it here on the medal stand. What does that mean? Well, it's an honor to finish up on the medal stand, and that's what I've been going for my whole career. Talk about this race. What do you feel like you did well that allowed you to get to where you were? Well, I tried to stay in the top 20 the first mile, and then there about the second mile, I kind of fell back. But uh, I just thought of my whole career pretty much during the last stretch, and I passed a few kids to get on the medal stand. Well, what were some of the challenges today with the course and the race in general? It was just really windy, and yeah, that's pr pretty much just the wind. How tough is that? I mean, you mentioned the wind. There were times today it was ridiculously windy, and then, like, right now it just all of a sudden stops. 
Yeah, it was just kind of streaky and running into the wind. You can just really tell it's there. Talk about your season as a whole. Uh, how do you sum it up? Well, I started off really well, but then there about week three or week four, I got sick and was out a few weeks, but I'm glad I was able to finish strong. How do you sum up your career? Uh, been to state a handful of times now and take home some hardware as well. Yeah, I really enjoyed cross country. It's a little different than all the other sports, but I think it's taught me a lot and I'm definitely going to remember it. Southeast Warrens, Randy Jimenez takes home third at the 1A state meet. Uh, Randy, another trip to the, the porch for you this year. Uh, you were up there in the front pack, uh, but Brady Griebel just a little, a little too fast for everybody today. Just your thoughts on today? Uh, yeah, um, my opponents, Brady and the other Madrid guy that got second, they both ran a great race. Power to them, you know. There was, I ran my best today. I had a little, some hiccups that I was, when I was running, that I didn't anticipate. But overall, you know, I gave it my best. They gave it their best. They came out on top, you know, and I'm happy for them. That's a great race, and I wouldn't want it any other way. What do you feel like you did well today to be able to finish where you did? Um, today what I did well was um, I settled in with the top group. You know, I anticipated the fact that we were all going to come out hard. Um, I kind of thought, you know, Grievel's normal strategy is to come out super hard in that first one and kill those guys and then kind of just work his pace a little bit slower and just, just outpace everybody, you know. Then he doesn't have to sprint, and even though he's supposed to finish at the end, it doesn't a dog fight to win. Um, that's kind of how I tried to run. Yeah, you were up there in that front pack in, in the first part of the race, so what was going well for you during that stretch? Um, my stride felt fantastic. I knew that there was some wind going into this race. I knew the, the weather can be kind of funny sometimes in Fort Dodge, as we all know. You know, it could still snow at the state meet. You just don't know until pretty much the day before. Um, so it just, I felt like that's kind of what I did well with my my stride and kind of where I was on the course, you know, because I wasn't always on the outside edge. We didn't have to run on the outside edge to get the wind at the right angle and stuff like that. Back-to-back -back state medals uh, to conclude your cross-country career. What does that mean? Um, that's pretty great. I love, you know, competing in this sport. It was a great experience for me. You know, being an asthmatic, it was really important that I show people that, you know, just because you have problems and disabilities, it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't achieve great things with yourself and that there's no real limits that anybody can put on you except for the limits that you really put on yourself. So it was really important to me that I was became a four-time state qualifier and a two-time place winner because, you know, just goes out there to say that, yes, you can, even when others say, no, you can't. Now you get ready for wrestling season? Yes, I go right into wrestling season. You know, I'll take a week or two off, and then about after a week, I'll start drilling, start watching my weight, you know, start planning out my diet, all those things, start training for the next season, and try to compete just as hard as I can in that.